So when picking an EDR product, um, you know, most of them on paper will look identical. Um, and so it's it's really important to pick the one that fits your company and your needs, right? And so making sure like the, the management and the UI and whatnot all work to, to, to uh, they're streamlined and, and it's helpful for our management. But from a technical perspective, um, that's really where a lot of EDR products will differentiate. Um, and so in my experience, um, I've, I've worked on EDR products for almost 10 years now. Um, and some of the measuring sticks that I would recommend um, folks to, to look at when, when uh, and they're not even technical things, you can just ask questions, would be around like, how long does it take a vendor to generate a new signature or a new detection signal on emerging threats? Um, you know, I, I think of like print nightmare and some of those things that are or log for J, right? Um, measuring just how long those vendors came out with responses from when those vulnerabilities were announced is a really good indicator of the team behind the scenes, the tooling that they have access to and how quickly they can get those out to protect their customers. Um, I think that's probably one of the best measuring sticks to look at um, from these EDR vendors. The other piece that, that is usually good to, to ask the vendor when you're going through this procurement process is to ask about how many threat researchers they have on staff. What's their R&D budget for investing in innovation um, on that EDR product? What are the years of experience for the team managing, you know, the back end of that EDR product and all of the different data that's feeding into that and how they pull signals out of it? Um, because that'll be a, a really good indicator of, are they continuing to invest in their products and their people behind the scenes to make sure that the product is, is doing the best it can? Um, or, or are they working on other things? And, and so the, the, the brains and the resources behind that company are pivoting to, to other technologies. And I think the final thing that I have found sort of anecdotally uh, a leading indicator of the quality of a product is um, most companies have really good um, Windows detection, prevention, and response capabilities. But when you pivot over to other operating systems uh, like Linux, like Mac OS, um, like, like Kubernetes and container security, you typically see the feature parity drop off, in some cases drop off dramatically. And so um, if you go and you look and do your due diligence on the feature parity between their Linux and Mac OS sensors, for example, and you see that it's fairly robust and there's, there's really good parity with their Windows machines, I can almost guarantee you that um, their Windows product is, is of equal quality, if not better. Um, and so those are like the three big places that um, I would recommend folks to dig into with their vendors and ask those questions and do a little bit of due diligence when picking EDR products.